For nearly two centuries, a York company designed and built some of the finest optical instruments ever made. It was to produce the world's biggest telescope at that time, and a range of other scientific instruments still in use today. But the man behind this company has faded into history. Thomas Cook, not the travel agent, was born in Allathorpe in 1807 and intended to become a sailor, but his studies of navigation astronomy led him into teaching. He taught in York while developing this optical instrument business. In 1837, Thomas and his sons moved to Stonegate. Here they began producing high quality refracting telescopes and other mechanical devices such as tower clocks, microscopes and even a steam powered car. It was his skills with compound lenses that brought him fame and custom, producing bigger and better telescopes and even whole observatories. His refractors are still to be found in use all over the world. York has two fine examples of achromatic long focal length telescopes, one now in the Museum Gardens Observatory and another in Bootham School. The York Museum Gardens Observatory is the oldest working observatory in Yorkshire and contains a 4 inch Cook refractor. This scope had been in use in the Mount School, but was bought by York Astro Society for three guineas, restored and installed in 1981. A similar 4 inch instrument is in regular use at the nearby Bootham School with its unique canvas dome. Thomas and his sons extended the range of instruments to include microscopes, gun range finders and survey equipment. Thomas died in 1868 with a factory, now in Bishop Hill, was continued to flourish. The Buckingham Works are best known for building astronomical telescopes and complete observatories, some of which can be seen in the old Royal Observatory in London and elsewhere from Greece to Australia. The firm was building the new 25-inch refractor at the time of Thomas's death. This was then the world's biggest telescope and is still in use in Greece. After Thomas died, his sons continued to produce fine instruments, joining with Troughton and Sims in 1922, and eventually becoming Bickers Instruments, one of the most noted industries in York's recent history. The Vickers factory in Haxby provided employment and training for thousands of York people. No trace of this factory remains. The Cook name lives on in Leicester, producing lenses for film and TV cameras. Thomas Cook and his sons contributed immensely to advances in optical instrumentation and astronomy. He is remembered by a plaque and bench in Allathorpe, but little can be found in York to mark this superb craftsman and his contribution to science. York's place in the history of astronomy should now be celebrated. <laughs>